everybody, it is time for a bookshelf tour. Now I used to have all my bookshelves out here in my living room, but in March or April, I don't remember quite when, during quarantine, I decided to take my bookshelves out of my living room and put them in my bedroom and this one just doesn't fit in there <laughs> so this one is still out here let's take a look so this is the first bookshelf up on top you can't really see behind it but when i went to a polycon in 2018 i brought this canvas and i asked if the authors could sign it now it's kind of taken over by my game of throne pops then coming down here, I have Cassandra Clare books. Most of them, I believe, fit up here. Yes, and well, when Janet Byron comes, I'm gonna have to find some more room. I made these little canvases with book pages, and I just like how that looks. I have ducks up here for a certain reason. If you have read the series, and you know our character well, then you know why I have ducks. On the side, I have some different necklace swag that I got in some subscription boxes. And then some of this stuff up here is, this was a pre-order incentive. The pin that we got, I believe this was a pre-order incentive too with the Dark Artifices series. I don't remember which book, but it's a lot of different cards postcards and I just think they're pretty awesome. I have a print of our trio here, Will, Gem, and Tessa. Okay, <laughs> don't mind this. It was one of those make your own pops and I don't know why I was thinking pink was a good color for the skin tone so it's an uh, odd Oompa Loompa-ish. It's an orange pink Kind of feel going on here and I never went back and <laughs> fixed it. The more Game of Thrones pops and figures and this I just took a clip and glued on some more book page to give it a different kind of feel. Then down here I have Twilight and those are the books that are back there. I actually had the opportunity to meet Boo Boo Stewart. He is an actor. Right now he's pretty big in the Descendants movies and these are his sister's signatures. I had a picture with Boo Boo but it got destroyed when my computer broke so I don't have that anymore which is sad but he sings as you would know if you have watched the Descendants movies and Boo Boo and his sisters were at Six Flags. They were in opening act. I don't remember who the opening act was for, but he just happened to be signing after his set. So I just thought, why not? He was probably like 12 or something at the time. It was just another line to stand in and kill the time while waiting for the main performers, but it actually worked out really well. He's Seth in Twilight and he is Jay in the Descendants franchise. So that's just something cool I have on my shelf. I have this puzzle ball. I have some different Twilight cards. Then there's some buttons. Ooh, sorry, you can tell I need to dust this. So please, don't mind the dust. I have a jar of wishes. This when New Moon came out, Burger King had gotten different New Moon stuff in, like their Burger King crown had New Moon characters on it, and my mom had gotten me a gift card, and after I used it, I kept it. I have some more Game of Thrones characters, because obviously I don't have space really on the top anymore. Then I have different Harry Potter books. I have a Game of Thrones game up there. Coming down to the next shelf is Sarah J. Moss and Hunger Games. Here is the Hunger Games symbol I just made using my Cricut. I made different artist trading cards before with Hunger Games themes. I have a little canvas I made, a Katniss chapstick, 
he kind of falls down all the time because he's spent, but snow, that is the artist trading card. Now you may be wondering, where is the H of Thermoglass? Well, I have a lot of different Scrabble letters, but H's are some of the rare ones, as you will see it down here for Kingdom of Ash, and I just need to buy some more boards to get more H's. So that is why it is missing a letter. And I have some candles for some of the different Throne of Glass characters. My big bad wolf pen. This is Elsa that I made an alien character out of. I cleaned up her hair a little bit and there's this dress that she wears that has a design on the back that I tried to make it look like and I was going to glue my version of fire to shoot from her hands but never got around to it so I just kind of put all the pieces up here. This is you lead from the series. Oh my gosh, can't think of the name. Nehemia from Throw on the Glass series. Then this print I found at Half Price Books. I believe you can get it on Etsy. I don't remember where from, but I found it at Half Price Books. Then down here I have Nicholas Sparks books. I have a very special signed edition from Nicholas Sparks in here that my parents got me for my 30th birthday. And I just don't want to take it out of the box. I want to keep it nicely in there. This picture, I had tickets of different pictures for my library. It was a photo contest they were having and I printed off different copies and I just kept one for myself. And it is a Nicholas Sparks book, The Last Song, so I just put it on my shelf. I have my Pirates Pops back there. You can't see, but there's some Jennifer Armentrout books back there that just don't fit on the one shelf I have for her because she has written over 50 books, which you will see my collection of hers in a second. Here is the Big Bang Theory Comic Con exclusive pops when they're dressed as superheroes. I don't know why I've kept these in the boxes because I take out all my other pops as you, as you have seen so far. But, I don't know, I just like them like this, so I kept them like that. <laughs> and coming down to the last shelf is my Jennifer Armentrout books. It's hard to have space for all of hers, and I don't even own all of hers. So she gets a shelf all to herself. Then I have Inside Out Pops. I have some different swag and pre-order incentives down here. And Daenerys and Drogon make their way down here because they can't fit anywhere. So there's the first shelf. Moving on to my next shelf is right when you walk in my bedroom door. The top is reserved for The Walking Dead Pops. Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, and The Walking Dead are the most pops I have concerning like a collection. So they need their own special spot. As well, as you can see back there, I have another canvas with book pages on it. I have different ones around my place. I know that's not part of a bookshelf, but gonna show you anyway. On the side of my bookshelf here I have some Happy Hello Co bookmarks. This is a lanyard that I got from BookCon back in was it 2015-2016 and I got these different pins there so I thought it would be perfect to just stick them on the lanyard. This is a key that has to do with the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise and I just have it on my bookshelf. Then this first shelf has Helena Hunting, LJ Shen, Max Monroe books. This is my more adult reads shelf. I have lots of different pops on here. This is a bracelet that I got from Helena Hunting. It has to do with one of her series. She likes to make different bracelets. Like she makes them herself that have to do with her series. Here's another chapstick, and that is one of my favorite bookish swag items. I have the driest <laughs> lips, and when they always say, like, what's one thing you always need to have on you, one of mine is always chapstick. So I love when chapstick is a swag item. Then this is just a fun little thing my mom always had around the house, and now as she's 
getting older, her and my dad, they're just cleaning out more and more of the house, things that they don't need anymore, as dad says, they're downsizing, so I just like it, and I thought a perfect spot for it is on my bookshelf, I have my magazine of Daryl back there, sometimes I just like keeping the covers of different actors or characters that I like. I painted some rocks this summer that my grandma gave me and this one says sun's out, bun's out, so I thought it was funny and decided to keep it. I have lots of different hockey pucks on my shelves. I'm a hockey fan and it's just nice to have on my shelf. Like here's a Nashville Predators coin. Okay, moving down here, I just realized I missed two of my items to take off <laughs> that were up there for Halloween, so oops, guess I'm just going to leave them there for now. Again, more pops. I have Jay Cronover, Cambria Heber on this shelf. Jay has a lot of books. Again, I don't own all of hers, but she takes up a lot of space because she writes a lot of good stories. This is my cat Oreo from when I was younger. These how to train how to train your dragon pops fall all the time. I try to do a nice kind of triangle, but they fall. I painted that. Didn't put a picture in yet. Gotta do something with it. My mom and I in April made some different gnomes and I just thought it would be cute to put it on here. You know, coming down to this shelf, we have some Aaron Watt, which is Elf Kennedy and Jen Frederick, and Colleen Hoover books. My cat Spook from when I was younger. Again, the pops are always falling. I have cats jumping on my shelves and they just fall. But I love the alien from Toy Story. One of my faves. Here's my next shelf. Rachel Van Dyken, Laura Kay, and a mishmash of other authors in the middle. I love the movie Up. I just love this pop figure. This was a Comic-Con exclusive this year. I was so happy I was able to get it. I missed out on the pop of when they were kids, which just broke my heart. I tried. The website was like crashing because so many people were on it and I wasn't able to pick it up. So that was a sad day. But just some other random stuff. Some more swag. Under here there's some fun cards that Rachel has to go with her series. My friends got me a mouse pad with um, some signatures on it when they went to a signing. This is a hockey player. It's the signs from the locker rooms. I have an AHL team near me and they have a garage sale at the end of each year and that's one of the things I got. I have another one down here but it fell off my shelf. And down here is just kind of again a mishmash of different books. It's actually pretty bare right now. I did an unhaul of some things. This book is cool. It's signed by parents when they went to Alaska. Got it for me and they actually met one of the authors and were able to get it signed, so that was special that they brought back for me. I also just have some random pops down here. My parents, they will get pops from Goodwills for me. Sometimes it's amazing, it's pops that I really, really need, and other times, like they're 99 cents like this when they're out of the package a lot of the time, and I just get a kick out of it and they grab them for me because they know my obsession with Funko products. And again, as you see, another hockey puck. Moving on to my next shelves, we have Sherman down here to join us. Up here is the start of my Harry Potter collection. Up there my brother gave me that last Christmas. They're always finding different things to give me and off to the side of my bookshelf, the Jacob Black Barbie doll. <laughs> but there's that. And then on the side, I have different things I got in book boxes, or there's a keychain there from my grandma hanging off of there. And then I have some more lanyards and different things. So this first shelf has a lot to do with Disney and fairy tales, as well as the next shelf. Well, I love The Lion King. It is my favorite Disney movie. And I have some different cards from when I was a kid that I got in packs, some little toys, Funko products, Zoom Zooms a sign back there. You're going to see a lot of Disney Pops on this shelf. That is what it is mainly covered in. Serena Valentino. My parents, they got a bookmark for me when they were on vacation. I think it's the corn 
palace. Yeah, they picked it up. <laughs> but hey, they're always thinking of me, so that's so nice. So Beauty and the Beast. Coming down here, it's more fairy tale esque type of stories like Kira Cass, Melissa De La Cruz. When I was talking about Boo Boo Stewart before, that is his character Jay. Got Danielle Page and some random hockey graphic novels thrown in there. Maleficent is my favorite Disney villain, so I got a few things of her. Have a little Snow White book back here. I love these little Dalmatians. I don't know who's going to remember because I was probably, I would say 10 or younger when I got these McDonald's, had them in their Happy Meals as toys and it was a whole thing about trying to collect as many as you can and I just thought it would be perfect to fit here on my bookshelf. These leathers are from baseball jerseys. Around I think November the baseball team that's by me has a sale and one of the years they were just selling the leathers from jerseys for I think it was just for a dollar so my dad bought the different letters for people in our families and I like to have that on my shelf which coming down here you will see a number five five is my favorite number I was also born on August 5th so my dad bought some numbers as well because they were so cheap and it was just was something fun to have I also forgot to mention I use things like post-its sometimes or not post-its, note stacks to help level things out on my shelf so it gives it a more pleasant appeal to the eye to have different things raised and make a shelf on a shelf. So down here we have some grim fairy tale stories, Julie Murphy, Abby Glines, Elizabeth Acevedo, just a whole bunch of random different authors as well and the Pops. Cannot forget about the Pops. I'm kind of wondering why I have that pin there. That does not belong. <laughs> then coming down here, again, just a bunch of different random authors I thought can just go together on my shelf. Some Ninja Turtle, got some Finding Dory, Aladdin down here. <laughs> yeah, and here, one of the kids, I want to say it was Valentine's Day, again, I work in a kindergarten classroom, and this was in my Valentine goodie bag, and I never got rid of it. I liked, I like to keep it on my shelf with my Ninja Turtle things. Down here, which we can't really see right now because of a kitty cat, it's, again, a random mishmash of different books. I have my different book boats back there, that bookworm box is filled with different swag. It's just a whole randomness of things and randomness in pops. Those pops are always tipped over because, well, my cat Ollie, who has come to join us now. Hi, Ollie. She plays back here and knocks them over all the time. I'm not going to move this to show you guys on my next shelf. It's the same thing of random mishmash that I don't care about getting to right now. And that's why it's down there and I don't mind having my ottoman there in the way. So we're going to go up the opposite way with the shelf. I have a messy little corner there, but sometimes you just don't know where to put things. But I have some Alexander Bracken, Marie Lu, the Raven Boy series that I need to read, and some more different fun pops. These signs have been falling so much lately, I need to get more sticky tack. I have my Daryl figure back there. Moving on up, we got a whole Alice in Wonderland shelf. Marissa Meyer, Cora Carmack, A.G. A. Howard are some of the authors you can find on this shelf. This shelf is kind of a mess, <laughs> but I have Neil Schusterman, Bridget Kemmer, Tara Maffey, Lee Bardugo, some of the names on this shelf, and just some randomness. This was my dog when I was growing up, Cody, and my cat growing up, Buttercup. We had five cats and a dog growing up and hamsters here and there, so we had a very pet-friendly household with lots of love. This right here is a journal that I got from Half Price Books for free because I teach and I brought it with me 
to Book Bonanza to ask the authors to sign it because I thought this was perfect to try to get everyone's signature. It's small, could fit easily in my suitcase or my backpack carry-on, and it was, it's just a nice memory to have. Over Nightmare Before Christmas, and I know that's a Halloween thing, but I purposely left that up there. I did not forget that one. I left it. <laughs> then coming up here is some of my badges from when I went to different book signings and the keychains that went with it. On the side, I have some more bookmarks. And up here I have Saba Tahir, Victoria Aviard, Tomi the Yummy, and the Illuminate File series, some more pops. That was another gnome mom and I made. I'm using one of my clips to display a picture of when I met Victoria. And just some other randomness. Random fun. And here is more. Harry Potter. So much Harry Potter stuff. And lastly is this bookshelf. To me, it's one of my favorite bookshelves, not necessarily because the books that are on there, but because I was rummaging a couple years ago with my grandma, and you can see it's that covered there was this blue bookshelf, and it was a dollar. And I'm like, Grandma, can we fit this in your car? And she's like, let's do it. So then I took book pages, and I glued them all over the bookshelf, add some names, and just did some fun with it, and that's why I really really like it. I have some anthologies. Got a little mess up there with <laughs> different papers and swag. Ellen Hopkins. Her books were a perfect size for this shelf, which is awesome. Got a shelfy sign. That is Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. I made this pop myself. I bought a pop that I thought looked similar to him. I painted it and out of clay I made soft kitty and added it so I really love that pop because I customed it myself. There's another pop my parents got for 99 cents. I don't know who it is. If you do, please let me know. I have Jamie McGuire, Kendall Ryan, over here Corinne Michaels, Ilsa Manda Mills, got some Penelope Ward, Vicoon, and some other authors. This is my cat's scratch pad. They love um, scratching their paws on it. They don't have claws, but they love to massage their claws on there. Down here is a mix of different authors, some different randomness. And down here is Christina Lauren along with some other authors as well. And this shelf I made into a Hunger Games shelf down there. So there it is, my bookshelf tour. I actually really enjoy mixing up my shelves. I do it a few times a year. It is a lot of work taking everything off my shelf because not only do I have books but you saw all the other extra stuff I have up there. Yeah, it's a lot but I have so much fun finding different ways to organize it. Let me know down below if you guys like organizing your bookshelves or once stuff is in place you leave it that way until you have a new book to add. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye.